Hi everyone, this is Martin here from the Tech Heroes. Today we're going to be showing you how to create a backup in Windows 10. The first thing we're going to want to do is find the settings and we get to that by first of all pressing on the start button. We then want to click on the settings icon which is this cog looking item here. And then we want to choose the last item in the list which is the update and security. Okay on the left hand side here we've got a range of options but today we're wanting to look at backup. So we'll go ahead and click that. Okay so Windows 10 backup. Now it uses a new system called file history. What Microsoft have decided is that the important things that you want backed up are your photos, your documents, uh, your videos, anything that you've actually created and stored on your PC. Things like your software and um, other bits and pieces like that, they're going to presume that you've actually been decent and gone and bought it. And therefore there'll be no problems putting it back on your system if something really major happened that you would have to call upon this backup in the first place. If, however, you did want to still create an entire uh, backup of your entire drive, well, that's where this option would appear, looking for an older backup. And this one here would actually open up the traditional control panel where you'll be able to set a backup using that system. We're not going to focus on that one today. We're going to show you how easy it is with the Windows 10 section. Okay, so one of the things you're going to need is obviously something to back it up to. And that would be something like an external hard drive, perhaps a NAS drive. You could use a USB pen. We don't recommend using USB pens for backup. They are just too fragile. They get lost, they get broken, they get dipped in coffee, tea, all sorts. Um, generally they get broken at some point and they're highly volatile to static discharge and things like that. Uh, so get yourself a good decent external hard drive um, that's got enough capacity for what you want to use it for. Don't let them just sell you a two terabyte drive. If you've only got 20 gigs worth of stuff you just don't need something as big as that. Just get yourself a 500 gig hard drive. Okay so we've uh, going to assume that you've now attached your external hard drive you will get a little notification that comes up to say hey what do you want to do with this hard drive just ignore that and let's just focus on where we're at at the moment so the next thing we're going to want to do is actually add a hard drive so we click on this add a drive you can see here it's now searching for the drives that are attached to this device and there we go the tech heroes backup so we're going to click on that one which will then change our options here. So now we've got this automatically back up my files and we can switch it to on. Now, if we click on more options, we can then get a bit more detail about what's actually going to happen. So we have a look at the overview here. So the size of the backup at the moment is zero. Well, we haven't done a backup yet, so that makes sense. So the total space on our hard drive 465 gig so it's a 500 gig that's about uh, right once it's used up all its bits and pieces and you can see here quite clearly it says your data is not yet backed up back up now we're not going to click that just yet let's have a look at this bit this bit here is your schedule so it wants to know how often you want to back up your files Every hour? Well, that would be great if you were a solicitor or something that was needing something really important where you could not lose even an hour's worth of data. But for the vast majority of people, we want to click on there and we probably want to skip down to daily. Okay, the next thing is keep my backups. It's defaulted to forever. Now, the trouble with that is you're going to need a very large hard drive. Uh, so we recommend skipping it down to perhaps um, a couple of months, maybe a month, or until space is needed. 
until space is needed is a great one because yes it will fill up your hard drive but once it's filled up it will then start overwriting old data which means that it kind of maintains itself in a nice cycle of events at that point. Okay, now have a look at what's actually going to be backed up. So if we scroll down here, these are the actual files, the folders that are going to be backed up. So we can see we've got the saved games, because yeah, we do loads of playing games, don't we? I wish I had time for that. Um, we've got the links, um, fine if you want to. Uh, things like downloads, great, favorites, yep, uh, contacts, yep. Now, OneDrive, now that's a one. OneDrive is actually cloud storage. So does it make sense to back that up? Because let's face it, if something happened to this device, with theft, fire, flood, something like that, um, we're going to want everything back. OneDrive's already out there. It's already out there on the internet, accessible by any other internet connected device so long as you can remember your login details so personally uh, and from the tech heroes we would say remove that one there we go and that's going to save you a little bit of space and time on your backup and then we've got all the other standard folders uh, an important one not to forget is your desktop because we get loads and loads of people putting loads and loads of stuff on their desktop uh, so it's crucial that that one also gets backed up your 3D objects, not a lot of people use that at the moment, but uh, I'm sure it'll be something that people will start using in the future. Uh, definitely your pictures and your documents, perhaps your camera roll and your videos. Um, so there we go, and your music, of course. So there we go. We can back up all of those there. Now, down here, we've also got some exclusion folders. So if there's a folder there, let's say you decided to on your desktop you've got a whole bunch of this that and the other but you wanted something excluded from there um, then you'd add that to this bit here okay now this one here if it is that you stop using this drive and you start using another drive this is the bit where you would tell it to stop using the current drive we're not going to do that we're going to create our backup so all our settings are right and now we're going to click on backup now now there really isn't a lot of data on here so we're going to find that this happens really really quick on this device if you've got a lot of data it'll obviously take a lot longer bear with it and it'll just tick away in the background there we go ours is already done because we've got well only 161 megabytes we're not even close to a gigabyte on that and that is it that is your backup let's have a look and check that we can verify our backup so we're going to click on file explorer and then we are going to click on this pc you can go direct to it but we'll show you the easy way and then tth backup that's where we asked it to go in the file history this bit here you're just going to have to follow it through the tech heroes acer laptop into the data folder we don't want the configuration we want the data folder and here's where it actually starts the backup process so this is the C drive which is your main hard drive then there's your user folders so you can add other user folders to it as well and the public folders if you keep some items in there like shared photos and music uh, then we've got the tech heroes which is it the user that we're using at the moment and then we can see here all of these items have been backed up now there's literally nothing in there apart from in our downloads folder so let's click into there we can see that we've got the programs folder that we created and there it is those are the, the only programs we've got on there at the moment and that is it we've verified that the backup has worked and then that will do this on a schedule daily so long as the uh, external hard drive is connected now regarding your external hard drive here's the here's the thing if you keep your external hard drive connected, yes, it's going to do the backup as religious as you turn your computer on. That's great. The trouble is, the usual scenarios for requiring a backup are down to theft, fire, or flood. So if your laptop or device gets stolen and your external hard drive is still connected to it, there's a good chance that that's going to disappear with it because let's face it, it will fit in the pocket. 
the same with liquid damage you know flood okay um, liquid spill something like that uh, and the same with fire if they're all right next to each other if one dies there's a good chance the other is going to die so we recommend yes do your backup and then tuck it away in your sock drawer in your safe somewhere in a different room somewhere not next to where your actual devices are and then that way you've got more chance of actually using the backup successfully that you've been diligent and created okay so that is it really that was how to create a backup using windows 10 okay bye now